constructing cerumen laterally. A suction is used at this time to try to remove some of the canal contents. So you can see the skin is very dry. Further in, you see an osteoma superiorly. Now we use a curette to gently remove some of the earwax lining the canal itself. Since the skin is very dry, one must be very careful as to not put too much pressure, which can cause irritation as well as discomfort. Some patients require cerumen removal on a regular basis. Taking a look distally, we see a normal eardrum. Now we take a look at the contralateral ear with more obstructing cerumen. Again, a suction is used to remove the majority of the cerumen. Various different techniques are available for removal. Here we're peeling off the cerumen from the ear canal itself and then alligator forceps will be used to grasp and remove them completely. This needs to be done very delicately and carefully to avoid ear canal bleeding and significant pain. Alligator forceps now. A few more pieces are left to remove, and then we'll be able to visualize the eardrum again, osteoma superiorly. Routine use of Q-tips is to be avoided as this will actually push the wax further into the ear canal.